editor of This Morning has spoken out about the disgraced departure of Philip Schofield from the programme. Yes, Martin Frizzell has said to read between the lines amid accusations of a toxic work environment at ITV, adding he thinks that scores are being settled. Well, let's speak now to showbiz reporter Steph Tatcher. You've been all over this this week. Yes. <laughs> let's be absolutely clear here. When he's talking about um, scores to settle, yeah. he's talking about a guy who usually sits here. Yeah. He's he... talking about Eamon Holmes, isn't he? Well, this week, there has been no smoke without fire with this Philip Schofield um, scandal. And a lot of former colleagues in the limelight, including Eamon Holmes, Dan yeah. Wooten, have spoken about their experiences with ITV and very publicly on this <laughs> channel. Um, but then also we've had people like Dr Ranj Singh, yeah. who, again, is not associated with this channel, but has spoken out about how he spoke to Emma Gormley who is the head of daytime programme and ICV yes. about Martin Frizzell's behaviour. So I was quite surprised to see that Martin actually came out with this so publicly mm. yesterday because the cases have been building up against him. He said it's been like the 23rd day this morning has been on the front pages of the newspaper and he's saying his staff need a bit of respite from it. He says he works with a fantastic team of women mainly mums. But what's quite interesting about this is that the Mail on Sunday have come out with saying that actually he was investigated in 2019 over cases of sexism over at ex-senior oh. staff. So, you know, by him speaking out, there's a lot of cases building up against ITV. But one thing, he does come very self-assured, very confident mm. because they have now hired an external barrister who's going to be investigating all these claims. So he does seem very confident that ITV will come on top out of this. Confident or cocky? A bit of both, Martin, mm. I think. It is a bit of both because, you know, ITV say they've investigated all these claims that have come in the past, but this is done by ITV. Mm. So it'll be quite interesting to see if it was done externally whether more evidence will be brought out and whether they view things differently yeah. because there's been so many cases that have been, you know, coming out in the newspapers that, you know, surely some of them must be of substantial that needs to be looked into. Do you think he may have spoken too prematurely, Steph? Because as you say, they've got this external investigation yeah. that's going to be undertaken by a barrister. Uh, also next week is the questioning yeah. of ITV execs yeah. by MPs. Yeah. It seems remarkable, really, that he's come out fighting yeah. ahead of all of these investigations well, and, and questioning. Well, that's why I feel like there's an air of confidence about from ITV that they haven't done anything wrong. I think most organisations organizations or most representatives will be quite humble and quite quiet because you don't know what the outcome is going to be. So maybe ITV feel quite confident that there hasn't been this culture of toxicity which has been all splattered over the newspapers over the past week. Talking of which, we've got two front pages today which include Holly and yep. she's obviously returning to the show tomorrow. Uh, yep. The Sun, we've got The Sun. Um, apparently she has a tearful monologue prepared and she's going to get out there and give it the wobbly lip treatment, no doubt. Well, this is going to be nail-biting viewing stuff to watch because, you know, it's been all about Holly and her reaction this week. What is she going to say? We know she hasn't responded to Philip Schofield, so she's going to have to talk to her viewers. There are still loyal This Morning viewers who enjoy that show, who love Holly, so she's going to have to discuss about what's happened and it's almost like... Put an, put an end to it in that sense and give her a point of view. So it'll be quite interesting what she has to say. But I know a lot of people have been thinking about her future in ITV, but the newspaper's also reporting that the BBC have been getting their digs in with Holly and apparently making offers to her. If it doesn't work out with ITV, maybe there's a future waiting for her at BBC. And what sense do you get of what she will say in this monologue? Because it is very interesting. She hasn't said a lot. No, she's she had hasn't. two very, very short statements yeah. on Instagram. And she isn't a controversial character. No, she isn't. She's a girl next door. Totally. She's, nation you know, sweetheart. Nation sweetheart, exactly. Yeah. Everybody adores her. So what kind of line do you think she's going to toe? Tomorrow? I think she's going to do... I think she's going to bring out the waterworks. I think she's going to be quite emotional about it because... You know, sorry for my sarcasm, but I think she's been friends with Philip for 14 years. They've had a personal relationship, gone on holidays together. Their families have, you know, become very close. So I think this is going to be quite an emotional speech for her. I think also knowing the amount of press and criticism that's been surrounding everything, she really does have to address everything in the correct way. Well, you've been staying, um, Stephanie, for, for some time now. If a story goes on for longer than two weeks... Yeah. But it's now rolling into its third week, and we're still talking about it. This is one that's going to roll. It's going to be more pantomime, and no doubt you're going to be very busy. I am going to be very busy watching Stephanie Tetchy, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.